So the examples that we've looked at so far are kind of uh, a little bit artificial and they're rather small scale and don't really use the um, capabilities the, and the power that's available with NumPy. And we're not going at this point to go into a lot more detail with using NumPy arrays because it turns out there's um, other data structures in the pandas library that will in many cases be easier for us to use. Um, and that's because one of the restrictions that we talked about is that NumPy arrays have to all be the same kind of item. So if you have a spreadsheet or a table where the columns contain different kinds of items, we can't use them in a NumPy array. However, there are some kinds of uh, larger structures where every one of the items uh, in the array are the same kind. And an image is actually a really great example of that. So every time you look at an image on the computer, you're really looking at a series of dots or what we call pixels. And um, those pixels are arranged in a two-dimensional array. There's rows and columns of pixels. And so uh, thinking of this in NumPy terms, each pixel is an array element. And we can, uh, if it's a black and white image, it's really quite simple to, rep um, to represent the value of that pixel. We just simply assign a number to each pixel. The number zero is if the pixel's black, the number 255 is if the pixel is white, and then the grayscale would be all of the numbers in between zero and 255. So here we can represent an example of an array. Obviously, a, most images are going to be uh, large, so there'll be many columns and many rows, and so the dot, dot, dots represent that some things are missing. But here we can see the first pixel in the first row um, is somewhere in the middle of gray with a value of 156 out of 255, and then each of the other pixels have different values. So if we put all these together into an array, we end up with uh, essentially a representation of the picture. In order to be able to actually look at what the pictures look like, um, we have to use some other libraries that we'll talk about more later. Um, this one, let's not worry about this, but all we are doing is essentially uh, this SK image library has some built-in images uh, as uh, available as data. And so we're just simply going to pull out uh, an image to play around with from that library. The matplotlib library is actually an important library because it's, uh, it's one of the most commonly used ones for visualization and we'll talk about it more later. The um, sort of consensus abbreviation for matlab, uh, matplotlib um, plotting is the abbreviated PLT, so that's what we'll use here. Um, and then this is sort of a, a magic Jupyter Notebook command that um, isn't really a part of standard Python, but we can insert this command in here, and what it'll do is allow these matplotlib plots to be shown in line as a part of our Jupyter Notebook. So that's a little bit of an explanation of what's going on in this code cell. So we'll go ahead and run that cell. And then um, we are instantiating uh, an object. And it's an object from the, uh, this data set that we are importing from SK image. And it's a particular image of a person with a camera. So we're going to call that camera. And so let's run this cell. So we can see, first of all, I asked, um, what kind of thing is the camera object? And the answer is, it's a NumPy ND array. And then I asked uh, to see what is in that array. And so here are the values, or at least a truncated version of the values in that array. Now, um, the matplotlib pyplot library has um, a, a function called IM show which basically will display the image. We don't need to worry about the arguments that we're passing in, but basically we're passing in the camera and then telling it to use a grayscale. 
And um, then we go ahead and show what that image looks like. So if we run this cell, we can see here's the image basically that we're working with. So it's an image with about 500 some pixels in each direction. And when we put them all together, we get a picture of a person uh, looking through a camera.